Hey guys, just coming at you with another video here. This video here is going to center around uh, basically the upgrades that I've done to these two guitars. Uh, so back in June, I got the EVH Frankie, and in July, I got the EVH Stripe Series Black and Yellow Bumblebee. Uh, so if you watched my Bumblebee video, I mentioned in it about how I had to send the Frankie into the shop to get the frets leveled. So whenever I got it in, I, uh, of course, you know, what anybody else would want to do with their brand new guitar is go in and adjust the neck, uh, the intonation, adjust the bridge down to your preference of what you like for your action to be set. I like mine to be set fairly low. Uh, whenever I set everything up on the Frankie, the frets, there was, there were a few frets on it that were, that were a little high, especially on the high E string side. Uh, so I called musician's friend, told them about it, and they were nice enough to pay uh, to get the frets leveled, crowned, and polished at uh, one of my local uh, guitar shops. Uh, now it plays amazing. Uh, I mean, it's one of the best guitars I think I've ever played. Uh, and the Bumblebee, no exception. It came out of the box playing awesome. But, you know, I, I did have to adjust the neck, lower the bridge, do the intonation, just like on the Frankie. Uh, but no, no high frets anywhere, uh, all the way up and down the fretboard. It's, it plays beautifully. So anyway, let's get to the upgrades that I've done on this. Uh, so we'll start with the Bumblebee first, because that only has one upgrade that I've done to it. So if you look at it, uh, these come with uh, no pickup bezel. On Eddie's, he had a black pickup bezel on his, so I wanted to put one on mine just because yeah, I, I do like the look of it better. Uh, so what I did is I took some screws and I cut the shafts off of them and I glued them in to the, uh, to the pickup bezel because I did not want to drill any holes into my guitar. Uh, so, and then the way I fixated to the body is I just used some body molding tape and it's super secure. Uh, left the EVH branded Floyd Rose on this because on this guitar, it is fantastic. It's, it stays in tune. The, uh, the, the fine tuners work great. The detuna works awesome. Uh, so this is just bone stock other than the pickup bezel. On the Frankie over here, however, so whenever I got it, the uh, EVH branded Floyd Rose, it stayed in tune great. The detuner worked great, but the problem was is the fine tuners were real gritty. I did not like them at all. Uh, so what I did is I went ahead and forked out 200 bucks and got a real German uh, made Floyd Rose. This is the FRT100, I believe. And uh, of course I put an R3 nut on the neck. Uh, let's get to the quarter here. You got the 71 quarter. Uh, the, so the way that I mounted that, I did not want to drill holes in, into the guitar, just like on that one. So what I did is I took the uh, screws, cut the shafts off of them, glued the screws in with some E6000 glue and used body molding tape on the back of the quarter, just a very small piece to get it to hold in place. Uh, other than that, the other upgrade that I did on this was, of course, what's an Eddie Van Halen guitar without the reflectors on the back, right? So I went ahead and went with the uh, these are supposed to be the the uh, the correct reflectors. I've seen other reflectors before; they did not look right. I've seen pictures of Eddie's guitar with the right reflectors that has this kind of honeycomb design in it. And uh, on the on the rectangle reflectors, you can see the square uh, the square design inside. Uh, I didn't weather them up. I didn't want to go through the trouble of doing all that. But on the one reflector over here, I did break it in half and left the sticker backing on the back of the guitar. Uh, other than that, 
Uh, that's pretty much everything else that I've done. Uh, I do have the neck plate, the 61071 neck, neck plate to put on this. I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. That will be my uh, final upgrade that I'll do to this guitar. Uh, other than that, uh, now the, uh, the tremolo cavity down here, I've seen in some of the earlier guitars that they were painted red. Uh, I haven't done that with this one obviously yet. I'm thinking about doing it. If I do it, I've got some craft paint in there. I can just mix some up, uh, acrylic to match the color of the body and just hand paint it in there. I mean, it's not that noticeable anyway. But uh, yeah, if uh, you guys are on the fence of getting either one of these guitars, they're both awesome. Uh, highly recommend Musician's Friend. They were great on the purchase of both of these guitars. Uh, they want to make sure that uh, that you're happy with your purchase. Uh, so you know I, I, that was awesome that they that they paid to get the frets done on the Frankie because that was 180 bucks. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope I gave you guys some ideas on how to mount your uh, your quarter uh, instead of you know drilling holes into it if you don't want to go that route because I'm OCD and I definitely did not want to go that route. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching these videos uh, and uh, I hope you guys you know decide to get one of these and hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Take care.